what's up everybody welcome back to yet another video of channel code x in this video series we're going to talk about firebase flutterfy and how to integrate that together before you think what is flutterfy let me tell you that it is a set of package which helps you communicate with firebase with ease like you don't have to write all this api yourself and if you're into development you must be knowing that firebase is a google cloud platform which gives you feature for development deployment and even analytics in this video series we're going to walk through starting from creation of project in flutter then creating firebase project integrating all those uh, configuration then having a firebase database inside your application and performing all the crud operations so stay tuned and enjoy the video series So first thing first, let's go ahead and create a brand new Flutter project. Now, the reason I'm doing this inside Terminal because we want to specify the organization name explicitly so that the package ID is something readable and it doesn't end up with com.example because the same package is going to be registered on Firebase later on right and the command is very simple you just say flutter create provide the organization name in the reverse domain so if you have google.com you can write com.google and then name of the project that's it at this point you can use get cli as well uh, that is cli for creating advanced level projects with some architecture but i don't want to complicate the tutorial at this level so let's go ahead and start with our project now, if you have seen my tutorials before, I always like to remove the comments because it is annoying. And then I move this home page inside a new file. The reason because it doesn't look uh, nice when you have all those things uh, inside one place. But yeah, that that is it. You just uh, move the things in a appropriate file and we are good to go. So first thing we're going to do now is add dependency and we're going to include the core package, which is known as Firebase core. So to use any of the Firebase service, you need this package installed. Perfect. Now you can also let me know in the comment section that you install the package from terminal or you go to pubspec yaml file or you use this recent method to add dependency. Cool. So just to cross verify, you can go to pubspec yaml and you should find Firebase core installed there. So this was the basic video to create a Flutter application and add Firebase core. In next video, we'll see how we can create a Firebase project, which later we're going to bring inside Flutter application. So stay tuned. I will see you guys in the next one.